remember. I'm a United States Army veteran and the Korean Post Commander. my glasses off on this occasion. I'm very emotional. Uh, I really forget how great this country is, respectfully. And I'm so glad that my sons are here to recognize and to remember all the sacrifice our, our military and our administration from the federal to the local level are doing. And I'm honored to be back Thank with you. the Honorable Miss Deborah, Mayor Deborah Robertson. And she has been busy. She's here to the very great Opening again, I'm, I'm emotional. Mayor, what good to see you again, first of all. <laughs> Let me just say thank you. Thank you for coming to our community. Thank meeting you. You know, and Mr. McLean, when I got off, he said today, he said, Your speech at my colleague mm. there was amazing. That's well, what he said, I didn't get to say it. What everything that he did this is what I wanted to say. I tell every child. Classrooms and just recently they brought over a thousand very great this and I want you to know and everybody. We live in a land of laws. Mm -hmm. If you don't like the law, you can work to change the law. If you don't like the land, you can leave the land. When you leave it, that's all those people mm -hmm. who are giving their lives, trying to get into this country and get away from their land. Why are they leaving? I love my land and I choose to stay here in this land because my relatives, well, your relatives, they fought. Did you hear a number out of all that uh, the Mr. McLean said? Out of all those who have died in many, many wars, the highest number was the civil wounds. And a lot of our slavery, who all they wanted was the freedom, the freedom they had before they were enslaved and brought here. Everybody else can take part because they come for an opportunity. No disrespect to Chinese and Japanese, but they came for an opportunity. Even people from Mexico and places. But we we were actually sold and got here. And then the fact that the numbers so high for the Civil War means that they didn't really get to them mm -hmm. when just for the freedom, the freedom they already had before they came here to get me. Just want to wish everyone, um, not say a happy Memorial Day, but want to recognize those that have made the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, thank you for that. Um, and may God continue to bless the USFA. Let's do it.